Hey there, watchers! My patrons already got to see previews of this figure on my Patreon. If you want to see those previews too, all you gotta do is donate at least one dollar to my Patreon. The link is in the description below. <laughs> Hey out there, this is Wake Angel 2001 coming at you with a personal custom which really tips my particular nostalgia bones. Uh, we are going to go ahead and make a bunny in the style of the late 90s and early 2000s. Uh, now, um, if you look at the original Saturday morning cartoon, you can tell it does have a distinct style that makes it look a little bit different from the video games, but it's not that off. However, um, although the comic book, which was mostly based off of this cartoon, what did still resemble it in the cartoony stylings at first, it would evolve over the years to, um, you know, have that 90s extreme attitude, where the characters would look more, um, I guess anthropomorphic would be the best way to say it. Uh, they started looking less and less like the cartoony or video game Sonic designs and just started looking more like anthropomorphized animal people, like, um, like say, SWAT cats or some other uh, 90s cartoons that featured anthropomorphic characters, uh, like maybe Road Rovers, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and as the years wore on, the style started to degenerate. At first, it just made the characters look a little bit weird and elongated with heads that were too small. Uh, then it started to, like, they really started to look off-model. Uh, like, like, it got to the point where, like, hey, um, you, you guys do know that that's, like, supposed to be Sonic's head, right? He, he does need to have, like, a skull and, and a palate and, and brains. Like, like, his head isn't just an enormous eyeball attached to his neck. You, you know that, right? And then, then it got to the point of, oh god, why is that man melting? So, uh, yeah, the comic art did start to degenerate quite a bit. Although, um, after this, it started to, they started to go back to the more cartoony-inspired designs for the video game, and it was much the better for it. But there was a couple of years in between where it actually looked pretty good, and I still feel quite nostalgic for it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and make a toy of uh, this particular era of the art style. Um, now this all began a couple years ago when the Equestria Girl minis figures were just being released. And um, as soon as I laid eyes on that Fluttershy, I thought, you know what? That looks a lot like the more anthropomorphic style that the Sonic characters were made in the early 2000s and late 90s. I wonder if I can do something with that. Um, and, well... Uh, certain inspirations led me to actually go ahead and create one this month. Uh, now, the body is, of course, from this Fluttershy, but the head comes from Applejack. Because, you know, Applejack's hat is just the perfect design to be Bunny's cowgirl hat. That's, that's basically the only reason. Um, so I just had to sculpt on the bunny muzzle. There's a little bit of cheek tufts and the big bunny nose there. Although, um, I would have to put, um, sculpt the ears on top of the hat. The downside is that the hat's no longer removable, but, you know, I think we can all live with that. Um, then I had to make the legs. Uh, this Fluttershy had a whole bunch of lacy stuff on her calves, which I sanded away, and then I sculpted up the much bigger feet that Bunny has. Um, with a silver paint job, it does a pretty good lo lo job of looking like, you know, um, silver legs. The body had quite a bit of sculpting added to it, too. I mean, of course, I had to improve the bust line because Bunny is not some 14-year-old girl. <laughs> um, but yeah, the jacket, the, the sleeves, um, all of her cybernetic accoutrements for her left arm. The left hand is completely sculpted, and the right hand comes from a wave figure with a glove cuff from a tails. Um, and all, all of that's put together and painted, creating a pretty good-looking bunny body, at least in my opinion. So, with all the parts put together, all that's left to do is to attach everything and take a look at the completed Bunny Rabot figure. With all that being said and done, here is Bunny Rabot. Uh, it's, a, it's a really nice 4-inch tall bunny figure. I just kind of wish that they had some knee or thigh swivels so that it could sit a little bit more naturally, but, you know, it's actually not bad for a figure this size. And, um, yeah, gotta, gotta admit, I, I just freaking love it. 
Uh, an extra bonus is that she's pretty much the perfect size next to the 5 inch Jazzwares Sonic. Um, I see great possibilities for this, and I really think I might be repeating this in the near future. Um, but I got other stuff to work on. So this is Wake Angel 2001, signing off for now.